Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Track of the Spirits. There's a train. We're, we're riding it uh, to many places. Today's the day I get to hang out with my boy Alfonsi. He got injured trying to protect the princess. He was big and strong, but not quite as big and strong as Burn. And he got his ass reamed. So he's been chilling here in Castletown, making a full recovery. I'm happy to say my boy's back. I also hung out in the monster hut. That's what I'm calling this building behind me. I fought a bunch of monsters and I kicked their asses. I killed a bug twice. Um, and I got a heart container for it. So now, I believe my goal is to take Fonzie back to Aboda Village, where he's gonna help me uh, pimp out my ride, so to speak, uh, because there's a bunch of boars that are out in the fields, and I don't really like dealing with them, actually. They killed my train once, and I'd prefer for it to not happen again. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Also, let me get my hellos in order. Fiction of Grandeur, Jacob Welsh, TJ Magix, Dogface, and Dave Abler. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Let's do the things, all right? Was there anything else I needed to do here? Oh, I needed to check the mail. I did participate in a contest. I put uh, some postcards in, and this might be my winnings. Let me see if I won a prize, something good. Fingers crossed, chat. All right, I want good vibes, good energy. Let me get something. Oh, howdy, George, how goes it? The results are in from the prize postcards that you submitted. Uh-huh, yeah. Are you ready for the big news? Yeah, uh-huh. Congratulations! Oh, oops. It looks like you got a third place prize. Well, I mean, free stuff is free stuff. You're a loser. Yay. Here, let's pop this guy open and see what you got. I thought you weren't gonna open my mail in front of me anymore. You got a wood heart. Check it out on the collection screen. Sure, it looks like a chestnut, but there's something special about it. Probably. That's what I'm to be told anyways. All right. Third place or no, winning always feels pretty good. Keep sending in postcards. I don't know, that sounds like a scam. All right, well, live and learn, right? All right, let me take my boyfriend back to the, uh, to his house. Are you ready? All right, let's get back to a boat a village. Yeah, let's. All aboard! Come on, George, let's go to the boat a village. All right, girl, how many people do I have to talk to to get the fuck out of here? Okay. Gotta watch out for them trains. Don't want to run into these shits again. Let's just go all the way south. Keep an eye on the tracks. Be careful. Be wise. This is what I have to do. Very cautiously. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're fine. These tracks look good. They look swell enough, indeed. Guys, I made an Instagram post today. I showed off my titties. For attention on the internet, don't you know? Um, I'm also dealing with a little bit of a stalker situation. Well, maybe stalker isn't the right word. Maybe harassment. No, def stalker is definitely the right word. Here's the thing about being on the internet. Every once in a while, you're going to piss somebody off. Um... I'm pretty good at not pissing people off by doing, like, bad things or controversial things. You know, I, I tend to be a pretty chill dude on the internet, but I'm also on OnlyFans. And even though I have never once, one single time in my life, ever advertised the boyfriend experience or, like, sign up for my OnlyFans and you guys can text me and we can, like, you know, get on, we can get connected on a personal level, I don't vibe with parasocial relationships. Never been about it, never want to be about it. I think they're dangerous and I'm scared of stalkers because I don't know how far people are going to go. I used to be naive to this situation and feel relatively safe, but ever since I had a psychopathic ex, which is a story I've told before, of the guy who I started ignoring and he kept increasing how psychotic he was going to be to try to get my attention from like yelling at me, berating at me, hurling insults my way, to ultimately hunting down my mother's contact information who is a stranger to him and harassing her by making a fake email account in my name? Like, 
I realize that people are batshit crazy, and you never know how far somebody will take it, and so it's just something to be cautious of because it can get a little bit scary and eerie. So that brings me to my more recent problem. I have this dude who... They were an OnlyFans subscriber, and somehow they got the impression that they felt that by paying the subscription, which, here's the tea. Do you want to see my cock? Do you want to see my asshole? Do you want to see sexualized videos and photos? That's what you're paying for with the OnlyFans subscription. You're not paying to be my boyfriend. You're not paying to, like, become my bestie and talk to it. And I don't mean for that to sound harsh, but I mean... Let's not do the parasocial thing. It's a very standard business transaction, and we should keep it as such. But this guy, he felt that, like, because he paid the subscription, that I was supposed to, like, start engaging in regular conversation with him. And when I didn't, he got big mad at me. Uh, so big mad that now he stalks every single thing. I, I, I don't think he watches the live stream, because this is, like, long-form content that's not sexual in nature. So... <laughs> So, I, I, I don't think he has enough of a capacity to be entertained by this, but whether it's Twitter or Instagram, he's on top of it like a hawk, and he's in these chat rooms with people who try to leak my content on the internet, spreading hate about me, and it's just every single day, and like, I monitor these forms every single day because I have to, I'm the one who has to file the DMCAs when stuff gets leaked, so it's, it's like part of my job. But it's also my life. For somebody else to be monitoring these forms every day, for me, it's a little bit psychotic, I feel. Because that, that feels unhealthy. I don't think you should be that level of obsessed with somebody. Particularly somebody that you claim to hate. Like, it, it's like this, I'm not a fan of you, but I'm going to watch your every single move. And I'm going to tell you how much I hate you every single day. And it's like, as long as it stays at like just that, it's probably not that big of a deal. But again, um, you sometimes never know how far somebody's going to take what they're doing to try to get a reaction out of you. And uh, that's where it gets a little bit weird. Anyways, I, I got my boyfriend back safe and sound, so he looks happy. Oh, that's one fine looking train if you don't mind my saying. Oh my god, thank you. I uh, took it from the old windbag in the, the, the Tower of Spirits. Yeah, okay, well, uh, anyways, the ride was, uh, smooth as silk. Can't believe you got such a nice train from the Tower of Spirits. But like I said, I don't think it can handle the dangers you're likely to face. Let me rig something up for you. Okay, Poppy, do I have to go to your house? Uh, it's actually gonna take some time, so, uh, why don't you come back here in a while? I mean, I could wait in your house with you. I could, I could wait in the living room or your bedroom, in your bed, uh, face down, ass up, what? Well, why don't you go visit old Nico while you're waiting? Oh. Okay, my sugar daddy. Yeah, I guess I could see him too. Uh, I'm sure he'd be real happy to see you. Yeah, I, I also bet that he would. I don't know if he has a paycheck for me though. Hi, princess. Do you want to go meet my gay lover? He's old. Oh, that's interesting. Very progressive of you, George. Thank you. Um... This is your sign to get a big protective dog. I am partial toward huskies and German shepherds. If the day comes where I own a dog, I promise I'll show it on stream and you guys will get to meet it and it will be either a husky or a German shepherd, most likely. Um, do you think that this person knows you in real life? I hope to God not because I'd rather them be somebody that's far away. The closer they are to me, the scarier the situation gets, because then, obviously, they could, like, stalk you in the real world. Um, I did have a stalker once who was, like, literally across the seas. They're located in England somewhere, and so, like, they're an internet stalker, but I don't think they can do much to me in, in, in any real capacity. Um, and then... I will say, though, that, like, in real life, I've, I, I have severed real-life connections. Because, like, there is a gay community here in Buffalo, and through, like, filing DMCAs, going, like, perusing the forms, I have a, I pay a company, a software that looks for, like, my content being leaked and shared, and so I've had the awkward situation of finding people who I knew in real life, um, illegally sharing my porn or saying really disgusting, disturbed things. People who I thought, like, to my face are my friend, and, like, you know, they'll, they'll, 
they'll act like a friend to my face, but then be on the internet saying really, really vile, disgusting things about me. Um, that's only happened, there, there's two very specific incidents of that having happened where I was conducting an investigation, if you will, on, an in, uh, on a person who is uh, doing some not so good things on the internet um, and, and kind of not being very respectful of my boundaries and what I like. And the two times where I uncovered who that person was, uh, well, two of the times that I uncovered the identity of these people, two of them happened to be people who I actually knew in real life. And that was, that, that has given me a very cynical view on the world where I inherently, I, I look at people very different today than I used to, because I kind of look at people and I immediately am like, what skeletons do you have in your closet? Are you like somebody who goes around in the real world acting like you're this holier than thou great person who's who's an empath and really cares about other people, but then like when you are anonymous on the internet, you like hang out in chat rooms um, sharing guys' private grinder photos and talking about how you would like to assault them. You know, <laughs> some people are really, really, really fucking disgusting and sick in the head, and they hide it perfectly because the when you're allowed to be anonymous on the internet, I've learned that people who are able to be anonymous, they take off their mask and like they show how vile they can really be because they find other people that share their same vile interests. And this is nothing new. Um, you, you think about like, this is how the most evil people on the internet get together. This is like the, the child sex trade industry, which is disgusting, but like there are people who find other people that also want to participate in that. And it turns into this whole underground thing on the dark web and the police have been fighting that for, I don't know, if, if, if our government can't stop like, you know, child exploitation, they're sure as fuck not going to be able to stop adult exploitation, you know? <laughs> it's just one of those things that, like, it sucks, and it's awful, and it's, I guess, just a natural consequence of the internet. Um, anyways, this is getting a little bit heavy and dark. I suggest, <laughs> I suggest we lighten the mood. Um, why don't we talk to my old, uh, my old man here, my pops, who likes to stick things in my butt for $37 a pop. All right. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Oh, hi there, George. So you're finally a real engineer, huh? Well, this is a happy day. Say, why are you dressed like a soldier? You know, it's strange. You look just like a friend of mine from when I was a young man. I, I kind of dig the outfit. You know, have you considered role play? Oh, that reminds me of something else, actually. You know, since you're traveling all over the world now by the train, would you mind doing old boy Nico here a, uh, favor? Um, a favor? Yeah. Well, you see, back in the day, I used to, uh, participate in a bit of a love triangle that took me to pretty exotic locales across the globe. I visited many exotic places and laid my pipe in many exotic peoples. Men, women, every place I'd go, there'd just be a pump and dump station where I could get a uh, special dame with a special stamp upon her lower backside. I nicknamed it the, uh, the tramp stamp, actually. I never really figured out who made these stations and why most of them came out of the Czech Republic, but I was a bona fide Czech hunter, you could say. Anyway, collecting these uh, stamps, it was a bit of a way to me for me to record my, uh, my travels that I was doing. Loved those little stamps more than anything, actually. A little prize. But uh, the problem is, is that I just didn't have anything with me to stamp them in. It was a rather sad state of affairs. So that brings me to this, uh, this favor that I was talking about, George. I actually have a big one for you. I'd like to give you this special book, and I would like you to go around to these exotic places, visit these exotic locales, collect their stamps, and uh, put them in this book, and then give it back to me. Oh my god, I got the stamp book! You get stamps from every part of the world. It's about motherfucking time. 
Please collect stamps from uh, from all over the world. If you give a lot, if, if you get a lot, I'll get. Ooh, I'll give you something special. There's a reward for us. Okay, so, well, well, boys, we got a lot of shit we need to do now. I need to get stamps. I need to go visit Alfonso. We need to go to the Snow Realm. I need to go to the Second Temple. Is there a stamp station here in Aboda Village? Aboda Village? I can't entirely recall. Oh yeah, right here. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? Oh, did you quit your engineer job and become a soldier? Maybe. Uh, there's incremental rewards at 10, 15, and 20 stamps. Okay. Good to know. Well, let's get stamp number one. This is a stamp station. Would you like to stamp Nico's stamp book? Yes. Uh... Oh! I could have centered that more. Oh, wait, I can redo it. Oh, look at this! On April 17th of 2024, Daddy George was right here in a boat of village. Man, if only I could do this with my passport. There's pages upon pages. This is fun! I get to virtually do my passport. Okay, I'm about it. Uh, Fonzie, Alfie, Alfalfa, is it time? Oh, hey, George! Yeah? Oh, you got here just in time! Check this out! Dun, bu, bu, look at this! Oh, it's sick! It's a cannon! It's a cannon for your train! With this baby, you can smash through boulders! You can even knock out any baddies that get in your way. Now that you got this, you should uh, head out to the Snow Realm. You gotta help out the princess and we're all counting on you. Right, let's go, hunty. This cannon is just what we need. Now we can head to the Snow Realm. Let's go, George. Right. But first, your highness, not to be like a little cunty about it, but we gotta also collect stamps. Well, let me actually think this through. So. First and foremost, what locations do we have? We have Castletown. We're obviously going back to Castletown probably several times, so I'm not as concerned about getting the stamp from there. Um, Whittleton, we're going to be going back to for sure because there was like some, at some point I'm gonna get a grappling hook and I'm gonna have to go back to Whittleton because there were places where I could grapple that I couldn't, right? So I don't think I need to worry about those right now. We'll be back to those places. Um, the Forest Temple. There was a stamp in there, wasn't there? I think we want that and maybe the Forest Sanctuary. I think we want to get those now because I don't really know if we have any other reason to go back to those places. So I think Whittleton and Castletown we can uh, skip for now. Oh look, George, Alfonso left us instructions for the cannon. To fire the cannon, just calm down and focus on what you want to hit. Then just tap your target. Right. Yeah, so it's very much like a um, phantom hourglass, which means uh, we're gonna be fucked. So yeah, let's try it out. Okay, I can hit some rocks. Oh, we got, we got a. Yeah, get fucked. So yeah, it's just sometimes my precision will be a little bit off. Can I blast this bunny in the face? Would that be inappropriate? Oh, 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 oh there it goes. That's fine. Um, look out, there's an animal. All right, I'm not, guys, I am not going to needlessly kill an animal. Did you guys think I was gonna blast it in the face with my cannon? Because I'm not. I'm better than that. In fact, I would like to eat less meat. It's probably never going to happen. I don't think I could give up chicken. Because I'm a boring white boy who goes to the gym. Chicken is our bread and butter. I also really love bread and butter. I... <laughs> Always got to get my garlic bread appetizers every time I go out.
Alright, get ready to stop the train. It looks like our stop is right through here. Chef's Kiss, wonderful. Forest Sanctuary, um, where is the stamp station here? I don't know if I can... Oi! Oh, there's also a treasure here. That I can't get to. I should make a note of that. I'm gonna say... Treasure... Here. I'll have to remember to come back to that. God damn it, it's past this and I don't have bombs yet. Of course I don't have bombs yet. Uh, goodbye. Okay. Okay. Gotta, gotta play this game again, don't we? Fuck you, Link. God damn shit, you stupid idiot. Place the bomb gently. Thank you. All right, gotta run across, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run real fast! Fuck yeah! You might be able to get that treasure now. I don't think I could with the... The only item I have is my stupid blowy thing, and she doesn't seem to work so good. All right, would you like to stamp Nico's stamp book? Yes. Page two. Let's go right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the dopey eyes. Is that is that my wonky? My my winky? My chwinky? My chwonk? My chwonky? What were they called? <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember their names. It's cute though, I like it. Um, as far as my stamp rating, I would rate that stamp a 7 out of 10 stamp. Looks reasonable. Can I maybe jump across? Hoi! Nope, surely not. Alright, fuck you. Fuck you. Thank you. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. C creative problem solving, boys. Oh, man, the abuse. Alright, thank you, my, my special cuck. Oh! Big red rupee for the win! God, you should pick up Fowl more often. Wait, I gotta take you. Zelda, can I take this on the train with me? The ginger wants it. Um, no, I'm not letting that in the cart with me, but we can leave. Okay, fine, sure, let's go. Why does it say April 17th when it's the 18th? Oh, that must be... That must be my 3DS clock being on the wrong time. Um... Oops. My 3... I haven't used the 3DS in a while, and the battery had died, and I only just charged again, so yeah, it... it my, my 3DS clock is probably not accurate or correct. It's fine. We're just... We're just playing in a different time zone, is all. Alright, let me go get the one from the forest. Or the forest temple, rather. And then we'll go to the snow realm, I promise. We'll visit the snow people, it'll be great, it'll be grand. Um, and, I'll, and, and, I, and I will make progress in the game. We'll do something important today. But also, collecting stamps, it's kind of an important job, I feel. All right, we've already got two, we're gonna get three, and if we stop at a village in the snow place, maybe we'll get a fourth, you know? It's, it's just a stamp collecting kind of day. Spiders are everywhere. There was a massive spider in my bathroom today, and I was ter- it was on the ceiling, which is the worst kind, because again, high ceilings, I can't reach the ceiling by myself, I had to use a ladder, um, so I had to get my little step ladder, so now I'm standing on a ladder, <clears throat> and I have one shot, I'm like, please, for the love of God, let me hit this spider, and of course, I hit it, and I, I, I half hit it, but like, not really a way to squish it. So then it drops, and now it's scurrying as fast as it can on the floor. I'm screaming like a little girl, and I'm like, I, but I still have to chase it down and kill it, because I live alone. I have to be the man. I don't have an option to make somebody else be the man. I have to kill the spider. 
I did do it though, and then I flushed it down the toilet. The Guardian Spider. All right, where was the stamp station for this place? Man, I should have, you know what I should have done is I should have made a note. This whole game is all about like being able to draw on the maps and shit. And that's precisely what I should have done. I think if my memory serves correct, I think it was where all the purple smoke was. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. So let me check. Good. Yeah, 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 okay. I was so good, so correct. All right, let me stamp it. Ooh, um, solid five out of 10 stamp, actually. Like, I get it, it's got the big majestic tree, and it's got that special little forest symbol that I unlocked after I beat the forest temple. But I mean, literally look at it right next to my dopey-eyed gremlin friend. One of these is better than the other. I also am a fan of the deeper, darker forest green of the one on the left, if I'm being totally honest, but it's still a cute stamp nonetheless. I bet we can get, I bet the ones in the snow place will be really cute. Um, why kill spiders? They are our friends. No, 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 no. They are our friends anywhere that's not in my living quarters. And if they want to live here in the living quarters with me, they, you, you know, you know your job as a spider. You gotta be, you gotta be out somewhere where you're out of sight, out of mind. In one of the deep, dark crevice corners or on my lofted ceiling that's way too high that I can't even possibly reach it, even with my stepladder, then you're fair game, because I can't do anything. But if you're gonna be in my bathroom, and if you're gonna be in the bedroom where I sleep, it's a no-go. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you. There's no exceptions. You fucked up. All right, let's go to the snow realm. I'm ready to do something productive. But at the same time, you are correct, Fiction of Grandeur. Um, the spiders, they do eat other shit, which is important because I don't like any insects. So the fact that, yeah, it, I prefer my spiders to be on the DL. That's also how evolution works. If I don't kill the spiders that are out in the open, they start to think that it's okay to be out in the open and then more spiders are gonna be out in the open. Evolutionary biology, I need to make sure the selective pressure is on the spider populations. They need to understand if you want to thrive, you got to stay hidden from the humans. If you get in the in the eyesight of the humans, you die. So if you want to thrive, stay out of my way. And then everybody's a winner. And also please eat the other bugs in my apartment because I don't want other bugs in my apartment. Is that really me asking too much? I, I think I'm being quite reasonable. Now then. Let's go and let's go fast. Honestly, why do they even have a slow moving train option? Here's a question. Does anybody drive their train at slow speed who's played this game before? If you haven't played this game, would you? Would you casually cruise around at slow speed? Social Darwinism for spiders. No, not social Darwinism. That's just Darwinism. That is just my evolutionary pressure. Social Darwinism is what capitalists have used to try to justify stealing all of our money <laughs> and rerouting it to the 1%. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I guess we were not getting through here if we didn't have that cannon. Girl! Get it out of, out of the way! There's a lot of these bunnies, actually. Um, hey, there's a place here! Whoa, 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 what's this? What are you? Rabbit Land Rescue- Whoa, what is that thing? Oh, no. Um! Well, this is an odd place, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the princess comes from royalty and she's been sheltered her whole life. I bet Princess Zelda is a little too conservative for all of this. Um, oh. 
Oh. Oh. Uh. Welcome to Rabbit Land Rescue, a haven for rabbits and their furless friends. They're. <laughs> Stergio Snot! Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for joining. What's the effers? There are millions of poor rabbits without a home or human companionship. Here at Rabbit Land Rescue, we save these bunnies from the harsh wilderness and provide them with much needed frolicking. You are here to frolic with the bunnies, right? No? Oh, I guess you're too young to understand the importance of helping those in need. Oh, these! My titties! Massive fucking titties! Super stuffed up milkies. The doinkiest and the boinkiest. Fabric stretching winds flapping. Sex. No, gnomes of fucking. Yes. Changeling DJ, thank you for membership. Welcome to What the Effers. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Um, why? Okay, we need to have a conversation. Who are you? Why are you? I, I need information about who you are, why you're in a crop top, why you look like you're probably old? Or am I making that up? I don't even know. <laughs> are you a they them? Is this the LGQRTPUN? Millions of, I... I much needed frolicking. I okay. I'm here to frolic with the. Bu Is this the furry compound? Let me be 120% clear. If your heart's not in it, you're not gonna get burned. Are you sure you wanna frolic with the bunnies? Of course. Okay, I'm convinced. If you wanna join the Rabbitland family, you're gonna need this. You got the rabbit net. Try using it while you're riding the train. Am I going to capture bunnies out in the wild and give them to this gooner? Hmm, why'd I give you a net, you ask? Well, because if you want to frolic, you gotta work for it first. I mean, what kind of person frolics with a bunny someone else caught? Rabbit Land Rescue takes care of the bunnies you bring to frolic with. We even frolic with them when you're too busy to stop by. So you're gonna frolic with the bunnies that I catch. Am I just helping you fulfill your kink? Eh, uh, never you mind that. The little details don't really matter. The less you know, the better. But now you know what we're all about. Does everything I've said make sense to you? Smile and wave, princess. Just smile and wave. I'd really like to touch your bunnies. I, I'd really like to teach you how to use your furry friends. I, I'd like to teach you how to use the net to catch your furry friends. You may have figured it out for yourself already, but let's review, shall we? When driving around, you might see a bunny peeking out from behind something. If you spot one, you blow your whistle. The rabbit will jump and be easy to spot. When you see that, blast whatever the bunny is hiding behind with your cannon. The rabbit will try to run from you, but only because rabbits like being chased. They like it. Rabbits, they like the chase. You, you sh when, when things try to run away from you, you should chase after them and capture them in a net. The hunt is on. <laughs> oh my god, wh what the fuck is happening? Once the hunting starts, you'll automatically pick up your net. You just focus on tapping that rabbit with the right timing, and you catch that little furry fucker in your net. If you're careful, you'll have an adorable bunny bound and gagged before you know it. But if you fail to catch it, the rabbit will escape, and it'll run away. Hopefully you follow that explanation. Yeah, I... sure. Wonderful! Now you go catch some of those poor defenseless rabbits that are homeless, and you give them to me, so I can frolic with them. I've got lots of great prizes for you, depending on how many you bring back. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll do that for sure. Okay, we're gonna go bunny hunting, I guess. While I think that through, is this... Is this just... 
is there anything here or is this do it when I catch bunnies as do they just is it quite literally like they just come here and they okay that looks like the snow realm oh man spoilers is this like the canyon realm that I'm running into and then the sandy realm or the ocean realm maybe okay I under oh f all right fuck you oh man I'm trapped oh never mind there's a there's a path <laughs> False alarm, it's fine. All right, princess, so let's just, uh, let's just leave and, uh, call it a day. Right. Well, if we see any rabbits, we should be sure to try and catch them with the net. Oh, princess, you're very eager to go along with this. Let's go. Okay, we can try. Well, I guess let's start with the rabbit that was really close to me, right? Because there was one. Man, I'm supposed to be going to the fucking snow realm, and now I'm going to be going bunny hunting. Well, here's the thing. There was a rabbit close to me here, and... Alright, I need... I need to draw. And there was a rabbit near the forest temple, so maybe we should try to get both? Alright, here's one. Start! Oh! Oh my god, that was so easy! Oh, man! It's almost like capturing poor defenseless animals is child's play. You got a grass rabbit. Go show the guy at, ra at Rabbit Land's Rescue. Okay. Well, yeah, let me do that real quick because we're right here. Excuse me. I caught a poor defenseless bunny. I'd like you to take a look at it. I uh, got a rabbit for you. Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work with five rupee. If you can bring me five cuddly bunnies, I'll give you an amazing prize. Damn it, I need more bunnies. All right, um, uh, okay. Um, more rabbits, where were there more rabbits? Let me think. I definitely saw one by the forest temple. There was also one by Abode, Abode Village. Yeah. And, th th God, there were probably some all over the fucking place, actually. Alright, let me think. Um... Maybe. Let's go, princess! We're going bunny hunting! Bunnies aren't just cute like everybody supposes! They've got them hoppy legs and twitchy little noses And what's with all the carrots? What do they need such good eyesight for anyway? Bunnies! Bunnies, it must be bunnies! Or maybe midgets. <laughs> Yeah, forget the check hunter, we're the bunny hunter now. That was so easy, and now George has jinxed it. Aw oh, man, do you think I'm gonna fucking suck at catching all the other bunnies? That's a possibility for sure. Alright, don't worry little rabbit, I'm here to protect you. You are obviously in duress being out here in the wild. I need to capture you so that you can go be with the bunny frolicker. Oh, I guess it does get a little bit harder. Shit. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! It got away! Wait, can I respawn it? <coughs> Are you ad-libbing or is that a real song? Okay, well, I guess somebody has never watched the musical episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And since you haven't, I'd recommend checking out Buffy the Vampire Slayer because it is a show that will change your... Wait, is it gone gone? It's gone gone. Maybe I have to get off of the train to respawn it. Maybe I have to go into the forest temple. Okay, this is actually good. This is a learning experience. So if you miss a bunny, it won't reappear perhaps until you get off the train and go back on? Huh. 
Maybe catching bunnies will, will be a little bit harder than I thought, especially on my 3DS where that my touch screen is not very accurate. Hmm. All right, well, let's just see how it goes. How... How, um... How many bunnies are there? Also, what's with Nintendo and... Didn't you also have to catch rabbits in, like, Super Mario 64? Like, at least the DS one? I feel like bunnies are just a... Kind of a, a thing that happens. All right. Train. We, we gotta draw. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, there it is. Sure enough. Okay, I gotta catch this fucker. Shit. Yeah! All right, it's all about anticipating where it's gonna go. You caught a grass rabbit, go show the guy at Rabbitland Rescue. All right, so where's the next one? 10 rabbits in each realm? All right, well, that's two. So, I forget if there was a bunny- Ooh, oopsies. I forget if there was a bunny by, um, the sanctuary. Let's cruise by it real quick and see if there was. Don't worry, guys. I'm totally- We're totally gonna get to the snow realm. I swear it. I'm- I'm gonna make sure we make progress. I'm not just dicking around here. Don't you worry your pretty little faces. We're gonna progress the story and the plot. <laughs> I'm gonna waste my whole life collecting bunnies for my new furry friend. My kinkster. I do know for a fact that there's a bunny down south towards a abode a boat a village. I remember seeing it. Stop the train! Wait, not all the way. I just need to know if there's a rabbit around. I'm guessing not, because I can't even turn my screen that way. Okay, false alarm. False alarm. No. No hairs here. That's fine. We'll get the one down by the village. That'll be three bunnies. And then... Man, if I could get two more, that would be five bunnies. Are there two more? I feel like there might have been one kind of near the Tower of Spirits, maybe? Or maybe one near Whittleton? But we've also got the trains there that I have to worry about, and those kind of freak me out. But I felt like I was seeing bunnies literally all over the place. Like, I couldn't get enough of these things. Aw, oh. The trail, my friend. Alright, we're looking. Keep your eyes peeled for a rabbit. There it is. Alright, we gotta catch it. Perfect! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nice. Okay, on that note, I would like to turn the train around. We're gonna have to do some backward. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some backwards walking now. Uh, the next rabbit is maybe by Whittleton, possibly perchance. Or maybe it's up towards the tower. Hmm. Or maybe I made all of it up. Oh boy. That's fine, we'll just follow behind this guy and we'll be safe and sound. Is there, there's a, oh, what the fuck is that thing? I don't know, but is there a bunny? 
here, furry furry friends. I'm not gonna do anything inappropriate, I'm just gonna stuff you in a net and give you to a stranger in a faraway land, and then leave you unattended. Damn, I really thought there was a bunny there. Um... Chat, there's one by the- th there's one by the Tower of Spirits, right? Right? I feel like I surely passed another bunny on my way walking around here. Is there one... Not by any of these rocks. I'm behind this one? No? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh... Wabbits? Did I totally make this up? Were there no wabbits up here? Maybe by the castle? Oh god, these things. Alright, let's kill them. Is there a rabbit over here? It's all fine. I'm so stupid. Ah, oh, fuck me. Now I've got to deal with a train coming after me. Don't sweat it, boys. I think we'll be fine. As long as I keep going fast, right? Or is it faster than me? Wait! Oh! 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 Can I hit it with my cannon? You know what? It's kind of far away. Oh! 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 A bunny! Wait! No! Stop! Come back! Fuck! Oh no! Son of a bitch! Oh, I can hit it, kinda. Okay, this is fine. I gotta get this bunny! You don't understand how important this is to me. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm coming back for you, baby. Where'd it go? Where was it? Here it is. Okay. Wunderbar! Okay, that's four! But I feel like we've covered all of the tracks. Damn, is there... We're one rabbit away from victory. Ooh, did I get a... I might have gotten a... a splinter? In my hand? Ow. It's fine. Uh... Well, we'll make our way back to the Snow Realm and we'll see if we happen across a fifth rabbit. Keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you see one. Friends? Nine? No? All is good. Don't you worry. Any bunny? Any bunny? Nine. Alright, well, I've got nothing else to distract me, so the good news in all of this is that we are officially going to the, uh, the spirit realm. No, wait, what? The snow realm. The, the land of the snow, the land of the cold. I'm gonna make it happen now. It's about damn time. Bunnies be damned. If we catch one more in the snow realm, that'll put us at five, and then we can go visit the bunny man and get a reward. Cool deal. 
you. Gotta get those buns, hon! You are correct, Grant says, and I am determined. Don't think that I won't. Oh man, doesn't this train go any faster? <laughs> I can blast her off and get some money. Oh wow, one whole rupee. A rupee saved is a rupee earned, they say. Maybe there'll be a bunny up here. Perchance, do you have a second bunny for me? Behind any of these rocks? It would be kind of close to the other bunny in this vicinity, but crazier things I feel could happen. I got these fuckers again. Just kill the wildlife, it's fine. No one worry, no one panic. Uh, yep, that looks like the snow land to me. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, I like this music! Look, George! It's snowing! Ah! Uh, I haven't seen snow for years! Yeah! Oh, uh, boys, I was listening to that sick track. Please don't ruin it for me. Okay, so there's a locked path to the left. I guess we gotta chill for a moment. Whoa. Okay. Gotta, gotta also examine my rocks. Keep, keep my eyes peeled for any bunnies that might be about. Oh, wow, look at the Tower of Spirits in the background. Man, that's a cool shot of it. Whoa! Guys, look at that! That's pretty sick. And foreboding. It's also a nice touch to detail. I like that you can see it from over here. It's like how you can see the moon from Majora's Mask. Alright, well, well, let's, let's see what this place is. The Anuki Village. It's the Unagi, George! No, it's the Anuki. Oh, there's a song here! I remember these fuckers. These were the racist fuckers in Phantom Hourglass. The, the Anuki didn't like the Yukes, right? They thought the Yukes were a lower class citizen. I see that they've now built a new society where they've banished the Yuke. Ah! George, this place is freezing! Well, Princess, you don't have any adipose on you anymore. How could you expect to stay warm, you skinny legend? Oh, right. I always forget about that. Seeing as I have no body, I guess that makes sense. But enough talk. We should ask the villagers about the locomo in this realm. Uh, Princess, you better let me handle these folk. Uh, I've experienced the Anuki before, and the Anuki are not the most friendly and welcoming community. They pretend to be, because they use the word A a lot and they talk like Canadians, but, whew, oh, that was close. Soon as you don't fit into their upper echelon society, they get you fucked. I gotta sneeze a little. All right, what's over here? There's nothing I can quite reach. All right, let's start going house by house. Hi! Oh, hey, guy! What you doing, eh? All the way out here in the snow? You part snowman! What's that, fella? Do I know a fella named Steam, eh? I don't know, do you? Steam. 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 St. E. M. Oh, guy! I got it! Extreme! Extreme rhymes with steam, eh? How good am I? I guess you didn't need a rhyme, did ya? Well, that's all I got. If you need another type of answer, you best go talk to the village honcho. Where's the village honcho? Um... Hello? 
Oh yeah, right, right. All of these are just prizes and battles. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. All right, we got another critter. Gotta explore my surroundings. I'm also making no mistake. Oh my God, they're, oh Christ. Oh, that's a horrible noise. Oh, baby pups, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to find the stamp location. Oh my God, I found it. <laughs> this is a stamp station. Would you like to stamp Nico's stamp book? Of course. Am I caught up on stamps? All right. Are you ready, chat? Let's look at the Anuki. Ooh. Eight out of 10 stamp. Love the igloo. Love the Anuki peeking over the side. Giving me strong Avatar waterbender vibes. Eight out of 10. Good stamp. Wood stamp again. Man, those poor fucking wolves. They never saw it coming. All right, in the meantime, let's check out the other properties. Hi, right, can I check out your house? Oh, the spirit tracks are clearing out, eh? And monsters are popping up everywhere. Oh, I tell ya, us Anuki are having a tough time of things right about now. You see, we're a gentle bunch. We're thinkers, not fighters. Plus, we don't really got the guts for stuff like monster hunting. You got to help us. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Um, nothing here. Let's check out house number three. Uh, let me talk to you. Oh, hey, guy! Yeah, you! You're not from these parts, are you, eh? Hey, what's with the stare? You're really eyeballing me. Something serious. Don't tell me you've never seen a Nuki before. Pretty much, you say? Well, then, how do you do? It's nice to meet you, eh? Since you've never been here before, you ought to go before the village honcho. Mr. Big Deal lives in the house and at the highest part of the village. The highest part, you say? I see. Okay, let me go talk to him. Highest part of- oh right, this. Let's- let me get my instrument out. That is not my instrument. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was switching my settings. All right, what were the notes? I'm sorry, I didn't see those. Wait, where? Excuse me. Okay, there they are. W one more time for me, please. Orange, yellow, orange, blue. Okay, now I got it. Nope, 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 that's, nope, that, nope, that's not what I was doing, actually. Nope, please, fuck. What's this one? Oh, what is that? You got the Song of Discovery. Play it to find hidden objects. What? How would I know when to play it? Check it out on the collection screen. Hey, you got a red potion. Man, it, now I kind of wish that I didn't waste money buying one. So... How would I know when to play the Song of Discovery, though? Well, that's cool. Hello, are you the honcho? Do you have bombs, but perchance? If you're looking for the honcho, this is the place. You're staring right at him. What's that? You looking for the village honcho? Wait, what? Isn't that what- Wait, what? Didn't- I- What? I- Hi? You got a good head on your shoulders, guy. But enough about me. Is there a reason you wanted to talk to me? What was that? You want to go to the snow sanctuary? But the tracks going that way are all gone, guy. Honestly, though, when those tracks disappeared, Asanuki was shocked. Not only were the tracks gone, but monsters started popping up, too. We're in a real bind now. There's danger around every corner. You've got to help us! Seriously, guy. Please, help us. Sorry about all that. Outburst. Us Anuki can sometimes get a little, uh, fiery. Anyhow, 
I'm trying to put together a village watch to deal with our problem. You see, I'm thinking pairs of villagers would work best. Safety in numbers, you know. Did you catch all that, green guy? Yeah, I guess I follow. So look, I don't really have time to yak it up about going to the snow sanctuary. But I might be able to chat more if you'd help this old timer organize some, uh, some teams. What do you say, pal? Uh, sure, I, I guess. Ah, I think you're up to the task, buddy. You got a real, uh, capable looks here. Well, do your best, but don't get worked up if the going gets a little tough. You see, uh, most of these villagers are a little picky about who they'll partner up with. Pairing them off is gonna be a pain, but I think you got it under control. Talk with the folks in town and come tell me when you found the best pairings. You catch all that? I guess? You gotta arrange these six villagers, including yours truly, that's me, into three pairs. I'm happy pairing up with any Anuki, but some of the other villagers, they're a little more picky. So you better talk to the villagers, take some notes of their preferences, and find some good pairs. Oh my god, I'm playing matchmaker. Oh man, somebody get the TLC camera crews out here. I'm ready to stir up some tea and some drama. All right, let's go around and gossip, girls. All right, so he's happy with any... Oh, wow, look, they all have little profile pictures. We've been given quite a unique task. Let's start by talking to all the locals and find their best matches. Yeah, this is something Zelda would be into, I feel. Oh, hey, little green guy, I hear you're helping Honcho for monster hunting teams. I pity you, I really do. See, us Anuki can be pretty particular. But not old Yiko, of course. I'm a real peach. I've just got one tiny preference. Look. I'm not gonna name names, but... There's one guy in our village I can't stand. He's got wimpy-ass little bitch horns, and dresses in blue. There's only one Anuki who fits that description. You should know who he is. You follow me on all this? Well, good, see ya! Alright. So, okay, let me make a note, no pussy ass bitch, yeah, he doesn't want to be paired with the pussy ass bitch. I understand the assignment, sir. Let me talk to this one. Oh, you're pairing us up to take out those monsters, yeah? Well, all right. I, for one, am pumped and ready to send those jokers running for the hills. You want to know my name, huh? Will I go by Agent Yellow? I mean, since we're forming elite teams, I figured I needed a code name. Seriously, though, my real name is Yifu. Now, let's get down to business, yeah? My partner needs to move freely in the field, so flashy horns are a major no-no. Oh, so you want a pussy-ass little bitch. That's good to know. Remember to keep it simple, that rule may save my day in the field one day. And no, I don't just say that because I got small horns. So he wants to go either there or there. One of those two is his pairing, but he doesn't want any of the horn people. No horniness here, that's fine. Also, I can't help but notice, just like Whittleton, once again, he here's something. Here's a bold statement. Where are all the women, Nintendo? I am getting a lot of villages that have all male populations. It's almost like my actual heaven on earth, my dream. Fuck the women. <laughs> Fuck the women! But also, where are the women? What's going on here? Are the small horned Anukis women? I don't think so. I mean, they are clean shaven, but I still think that they're men. Or am I making that up? Um, th please don't take offense to this, but are you, do you, are, 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 are do you, I, I, can you make babies? Oh, hey, pal. I hear you're out finding us partners out of the goodness of your heart. Yeah, the goodness of my heart. No ulterior motives at all. Uh, maybe I can repay you in kind. Um, yeah, what do you got for me? Hey, I'm not saying I'll find you a patrol partner. I just mean I'll do something nice for you. But enough small talk. How you doing? Call me Noko. Listen, us and Nuki only pair up with folks we find agreeable. Me? Well, my biggest gripe is guys wearing yellow. I mean, bleh! Ew! No! 
As far as I'm concerned, outside of bananas, nothing looks good in yellow. Oh man, I do love a good banana though. Oh my god. Anyway, I'll be talking to your pal. Okay, so. You don't like yellow, that's fine. You don't want to go together then. So I can just finalize this pairing, actually. This guy wants to go to him. It's a done deal. They only want each other. Good. Uh, so, oh, 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 yeah. And you are... Fuck... Yellow. Yeah. Great. Perfect. This is going swimmingly. Guys, this is the kind of gameplay that I am here for. All we have to do is be a socialite, get the tea, who do people like, who do people hate. Oh, hey there, pal. Name's Bulu. What's that? Oh, not it's Boo. Oh, that gag's as old as the village. <laughs> Oh, so you're the guy making the pairs, eh? Oh, you must be really bored, I mean. I, I mean, you're, you're probably real nice to help us out with all this. Let's remember this. I can't fucking stand those Anukis who grow out their facial hair. Oh my god. When they try to eat your asshole, it just brushes up against your taint, and it's a little prickly, and it gives you a rash down there. It's fucking disgusting. Vile fucking scum grow out their facial hair. Never in a million years would I want to be with anybody with facial hair. They think they're so great. I mean, who do they think they are? It's Bumbuck. Okay. Understood. No facial hair. Okay. So, that means you don't- he doesn't want the guy on the- the blue guy on the top, so... So he's not gonna pair with him. Right. Okay. I, I can remember that one. No facial hair. I got you, bubs. Let's talk to our final guy. What, what are, what, what's your criteria, my guy? Could you be a little more specific and help me out here? Oh, hey guy, the name's Kofu. Good to meet you, pal. So you're the guy putting together pairs for the watch, eh? Can't wait. My thoughts, I won't work with anyone who's got the big horns like mine. Oh. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. You don't like horniness either, so you're gonna go with little horns. And then, that means this guy who wants another clean-shaven guy, and this guy likes big horns, and he has big horns. I have my pears, I think. Alright, he's a real- he's got a, a lot of horn hubris, I see. Well, you enjoy your horn hubris. I've matched you with another fellow who's gonna- who's not gonna make you feel insecure. That is exactly how it always is, right? A man has a slightly big cock and all he can do is hang out with friends who have little cocks, so he feels better about himself. Alright, uh, let me go talk to the- the chief. Big chief boss. When do I get bombs? I'm really curious to start bombing shit. I've got my, uh, my- my patrols ready. Oh yes, I knew that! Well, they give me the lowdown. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, this is fine. You are gonna go with you. You are gonna go with you. And you are gonna go with you. Ah, booyah, there you go. You know, I think this is gonna work out perfect. Um, I mean, you've just backed up what I was already suspecting is what I mean. I just needed you to uh, double check for me. Just the same, uh, here's a little uh, thank you gift for you. <clears throat> you got a red rupee? That's worth 20 rupees. Just a few of these will buy you something at the store. Anyways, why are you still hanging around here, my guy? I thought we were all done. Um, actually, if I can be honest... Oh, right, right, I was so jazzed about getting the teams together, I almost completely forgot. You were, uh, trying to make your way out to the snow sanctuary, weren't you? Meeting with, uh, Steam, was it, right? Well, it's kind of a pain to get here, there, but here's the deal. The good news is that the snow sanctuary isn't that far from here. The bad news is that the only way there is, uh, out of commission. Technically speaking, the tunnel that goes there is still intact, but nobody's really used it since that ginormous monster moved in a few years back. 
Right. Johnny Petriello, hey George, sorry I'm late. Once this is done, I will rewatch it from the beginning. Oh, pleasure. Uh, you, you're in for a real treat. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of wabbits for you to look at. <laughs> See, us Anukis are thinkers. We're not really monster fighters. But I can tell you're cut from a different cloth because you are, you're wearing a different cloth. Sure, the tunnel to the snow sanctuary is scary, but uh, you're a kid. You'll be fine. Anyways, here's the entrance. Okay. Oof. All right. Dope. I, I, so yeah. Does this mean that the path is just automatically unlocked now and we're good to go? I guess, perchance. Perfectly. Uh, well, let's give it a shot, Zelda. I'm so glad we found out how to get to the Snow Sanctuary. It took quite a bit of work to get the information, but now our course is clear. Are you ready to head out and meet Steam? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's be off then. Let's. Hey, hey. Okay. So, let's take the long way around, just because I want to keep my eyes peeled in case there's another fucking rabbit, you know? <laughs> you never know. Gotta keep your eyes peeled behind- oh my god, if the rabbits- They're probably gonna blend into all the fucking snow, too. So maybe just blast every rock that we see. Da -da -da -da. Is it duck season? Rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. What? I don't see any fucking rabbits around here. I really thought they, they would hide one in these parts. Oh, oopsies. Broke a sign. Nothing? Time rabbits? What is this? Huh? What in the world could this be? Some text is appearing. It's faded. I can't really make out very much. Let's see. Um, pass through the gate. Either way, a steam whistle will open. I don't understand it at all. What does it mean? I don't know, but we got monsters, girl. All right, hang on. Okay, and really, no fucking rabbits. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me. What is this nonsense? This tomfoolery? This buffoonery? Oh, oh. Oh no, oh, what did I do? Oh! What? It's fast travel! Goodness! What was that light? It seemed to teleport us somewhere. This must be how ancient people traveled back and forth between the realms. We should make note of these spots where we can teleport. Oh, we for sure should. Being able to move around like this will be very useful in the future. Yeah, it will. Okay. So, uh, okay, so what we're gonna, what we want to do, I guess, is make a note, um, how do I make a note? We'll just do square. Oh no, I was too slow. Oh no, it still worked. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so that's kind of dope. And then I should also mark square there, should I not? Um, all right, and we want to go this way. So let's also do another square. Interesting. I feel good about this. Any bunnies? No, fucking of course not. Oh, you hurt my hand. Alright. I'm 
along, princess. Let's go into the scary dark cavern. Together! of Zelda, they really fucking love their- I Okay, 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 I get it. Um, George, something is following us! Yeah, I, I noticed, princess. What in the world is it? Uh, it looks like a, an arachnid of some kind. Don't worry, I'm just gonna hit it in its glowing green eye. Um, George, that eye's actually yellow. Right, alright, maybe now isn't the time to correct me, your highness. I'm trying to keep us alive. Quick! Well, we gotta get away! Alright, I'll blow my horn. George, he man the cannon! Right, okay, I'll do that too. No, I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. We haven't made it out yet! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, Christ! Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay, we gotta be a, a little bit faster. I gotta... George, you better hit that thing quite a lot. I'm, I'm trying, your highness! Okay, that was good. Oh god, oh god, oh god. The left side of the screen is the harder side. Okay, no, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, we're doing good. Woo! Nice. Uh-oh, right. uh-oh, 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 okay. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. How many, t how, how long does this go on for, actually? Okay, okay, this, this one's, okay. Conservationists be damned. I'm gonna kill all of the wildlife here. Sanctuary? Sanctuary. We've made it to the snow sanctuary. Um, what was that thing back there? I've never seen a bug that size. People were definitely not meant to go there. Let's never go back, George. You understand, don't you? No, going back there. I fear that well, unless we find another fast travel point, we might run into the situation where we have to again. Very guard. Oh god, there's a lot of things here. Whoa, guys, he has a heart container. Oh, hey, guy, we've got everything you need. Check it out. How much for the heart? Fucking hell, it's 2,000 rupees. I'm never gonna be able to afford that. What's this purple potion? 150 rupees and it refills eight hearts when you fall. So it's like an auto potion? That's helpful. My pockets are stuffed, I can't afford, I can't have it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll buy it later. Okay, good to know though. Oh boy. Sorry! I just don't want to get killed is all. Please don't hold it against me. Auto revive is something I do like a lot though, so I would not be mad about replacing one of my red potions with a, uh, oops, with a, uh, with a purple potion. That would be a vibe I'd be about. All right, gently up here. It's another stab station. Let's stamp the book, boys. Here we go. Oh, I want to say 10 out of 10 stamp, boys. Blue is a color I like a lot. The wolves are fucking beautiful. This might be our first 10 out of 10 stamp. The blue is so deep and vibrant. You got the fucking snow spectacles and it's wolves, boys. We're part of the wolf pack here. 10 out of 10 wood stamp again. Love it. S the snow realm stamps are not disappointing. Nico's gonna be so proud of me. I'm gonna, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Boys. Oh! Man. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, all right. You boys just stay down there. It'll be fine. Okay, well, sorry. You're just... Man, they're a little bit hard to deal with, actually. <laughs> ha, ha. 
Uh, hi. Get behind me. Oh! Man, they circle you, just like they're, they're toying with me. But then I kill the living shit out of them. Alright, watch out for these guys. Is that good? Uh-oh. Oh, hearts, I'll take. Yes, please. Uh, oh, what's this? When the door opens, head to the far room without being seen. And do it before the time runs out. Okay, so don't go in front of the face statues, I guess, is the trick here. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. All right, fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Let's take notes, boys. You're looking this way. 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 You're looking that way. Jesus Christ. You're looking this way. Last but not least, you're looking that way. Okay, okay, I get it now. We're, we're good. I figured it out. Go this way, this way, down this way, then we go this way. We go up and over this way. And I guess right in the door. Your puzzle is no match for me, you silly little man. Oh. You're. Wow. Excuse me! Are you the guardian of this realm? Anjin told us you'd be here. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you both! The name's Steam. I am indeed the guardian of the snow realm. Not hard to pick this old guy out of a crowd, is it? Ha <laughs> I've heard all about you too. How? Honest to Christ, how in the world is everybody hearing about us? It's not like the internet has been invented, has it? You want to restore the spirit tracks, is that right? That I do, bubs. Teach me their song. Oh, such exuberance! Such vigor in that voice! Now that, my boy! That's a reply. You've shown great bravery in coming here, and it sets my heart a soaring. You possess a power vital to restoring the lost spirit tracks. Have you heard of the songs of the Locomos? Yeah, I actually played one once. I did something happen to all of your guys' legs? I don't get it. Is that part of your body? That's a pretty rude question, boy. But as you know, the songs are made up of two instruments that play different parts. I'll teach you your part now, so you better listen closely and then play as I've played. When you've got it down, set down your skin flute for just a moment. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna learn. I think I got it. That seems easy enough. That's excellent. Let's try the real performance. Or Jake to practice. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the, the show. All right, I'll, I'll play my part. Let's do this shit. Perfect. Easy. I'm so talented. That sounded very professional.
This is a beautiful cavern, by the way. I love your crystals. You completed the duet with Steam, the Locomo of the Snow Realm, and the Snow Realm map has started to glow. Wow, that's a lot of tracks that we've unlocked. Holy shit. The Snow Realm map has started glowing and new tracks have appeared. You know, I haven't been that nervous about performing in I don't know how long. But now the spirit tracks to the Snow Realm have been restored. Go forth and may luck be with you. Oh, but you know, there's one thing that I should probably warn you about. Ferocious blizzards have been savaging that area around the temple. So you best be careful on your journey now. Great job, George. Now let's head for the Snow Temple. Uh, thank you so much, Steam. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Blizzards, you say? Are there gonna be monsters in these blizzards that I- Is my visibility gonna be impaired? Is it gonna be like driving in the rain? Uh, son of a bitch. It's fine. It's fine. I needn't be concerned. Um... <laughs> All those tracks. Oh, George, great news. You'll definitely be able to find a bunny now. Yeah, no kidding. Now that there's an ungodly amount of tracks to cover. For sure. Also, this might not be the smartest decision, but I personally want to have that purple potion. Just in case I forget to drink a potion, having something that will automatically restore my hearts might be a good idea. And we're obviously miles away from having enough for the heart container. I'm gonna have to really rack up some serious cash for that. I don't know how, I don't know when, but uh, we're gonna have to come back here for it at some point when I can afford it. For sure, million percent. I'm gonna stop wasting money on stupid ass postcards though, I'll tell you that much. Um, and on that note, actually, we're at about an hour and a half, so I will save my progress. And uh, I think this feels like a good place to cut it. I promised you guys I would get us to the Snow Realm. And I did. We're here at the Snow Realm, we helped out the Anuki, and I met with Steam the Locomo, and I restored the spirit tracks. What more do you want from me? You want me to do the temple? I will. Next fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where I'm actually going to, uh, yeah, probably pause it for the night. Um, I, I feel like I've done my due diligence. Uh, the princess, she's gonna, she's gonna have to wait a little longer. I will be back next week, because tomorrow is the start of the weekend. Um, so guys, be there, uh, be fully caught up on these streams, and we can go to the Snow Temple together, and maybe we can restore the second realm. Uh, for the, the, the second part of the Tower of Spears, which honestly, guys, I don't really know how the pacing of this game works, but on a technicality, that's like half the game. I mean, that, that's two out of four temples and realms, so I'd be satisfied. <laughs> I'd be satisfied with that progress. Um, and that, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, if you guys could please leave a like on the stream, the engagement is super helpful. Thank you for spending your Thursday evening with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, boys. Doodles!